San Francisco Airport, known as SFO, was ranked number one by Wall Street Journal in 2022. San Francisco is the second busiest airport in California. It's a gateway to both Asia and Europe. No need to be stressed about flight delays, canceled flights, or long layovers. SFO is one of the best airports to get stuck in. Lucky for you, Mike from that place is your pilot today, taking an inside look at how you can comfortably enjoy your time at SFO. One of the unique aspects of San Francisco is that for its civic projects, it requires that 2% of the construction costs be allocated to art projects. Because San Francisco's had successive billion dollar projects it means that a lot of money has been allocated to art. San Francisco's Aviation Museum is the only accredited museum in an airport. When a museum is accredited, that means that they are allowed to share art with other museums. The San Francisco airport employs about 20 people to do the uh, acquisition, the assembly, and the promotion of different exhibits throughout the airport. It's not just in the museum, it's throughout the airport. One of the newest exhibits is a celebration of the centennial of the San Francisco Opera. Okay, YouTube friends, SFO has a place for video exploration. The airport's video arts program offers four short films running throughout the day. Each film is less than 20 minutes and is from a different genre. They have new films rotating in every week. If you've got the time, SFO has the art. Located in Terminal 2, SFO has a sky terrace outdoors where you can soak up nature and sunshine while enjoying 180 degree views of the airfield in the busiest section. You get to watch the local gate traffic as well as international flights taking off on SFO's Runway 10. The Sky Terrace has an exhibition that explores the airport's development from 1929 to the grand opening of the International Terminal in 1954, as well as the late 50s and 60s when flying became more common. It's fascinating to see how the footprint of the airport has expanded over time. Still, SFO experiences delays known as flow control in overcast weather when only two of the four runways can be used at a time because the center lines of the parallel runways are only 750 feet apart. Located in the International Terminal, pre-security, there is a travel agency that will store your luggage and um, there's also a place where you can sleep and take a shower. Amazing but true. Bag storage is seven to ten dollars per hour depending on the size. They also have flat fees for 24 hours. Some people like the bag wrapping service they offer to help prevent thefts by airline employees. Freshen Up SFO has shower facilities, nap rooms, toiletries, and ironing facilities. They're open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. And a nap room is starting at $40 per hour and gets less expensive the more you stay. And the showers are $25 for 30 minutes. You can get coupons for free showers at the USO in Terminal 1. If you're traveling first or business, you probably are familiar with airplane lounges for drinks and some food and places to relax. Three of the lounges have showers. If you're platinum or elite, you can take a shower at Centurion, Delta, or Virgin. There's also a Grand Hyatt connected to the airport and see the description for more tips. We are talking San Francisco here, so yoga rooms are an option. Available post-security in Terminal 2 and 3. Free for yoga, meditation, or relaxation. The Christian Science Reading Room between Terminal 1 and 2 offers spiritual solitude. There's a full medical clinic with pharmacy and x-ray located pre-security in the International Terminal. SFO has therapy animals that circulate through the airport to make passengers' life enjoyable. And of course, there's art exhibits for those little human animals, too. SFO has four terminals and you're able to access them both pre and post security. In the middle of the four terminals in the horseshoe shape is a parking garage and on the top floor is where you catch your Uber or Lyft rides and there's also 
the air tram. This little train chugs around to all the terminals as well as going to the rental car facility and the Hyatt Hotel. The tram also takes you to the BART station in the International Terminal. BART is Bay Area Rapid Transit and it will take you underground up to San Francisco in about 30 minutes. Introduced in 1959, branded as the Jet Mainliner, United Airlines introduced its first jet-powered airplane. Flying in the upper stratospheres in pressurized cabins, it was promoted as a new experience. To help the public understand how cool it was, they created these cutaway models, highlighting the spacious and luxurious cabin interiors that were like living rooms. These models appeared in the New York and San Francisco airports and also a traveling tent show they called Jet-Arama. <laughs> 